Ask Reddit by Msjan. Serious, what's the scariest fact you wish you didn't know? Attention, serious, tag notice. Jokes, puns, and off-topic comments are not permitted. HTTPS colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash ask reddit slash wiki slash index hash wiki underscore dash rule underscore six dash closed bracket in any comment parent or child. Parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed along with their child replies. Report comments that violate these rules. Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour, and posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please, Contact the moderators of this subreddit, message compose question mark to equals r ask reddit, if you have any questions or concerns. You can become conscious during CPR resuscitation efforts, to the point of moving and sometimes even violently reacting, but still not survive cardiac arrest. It's called CPR induced consciousness. It's rare but there are cases where patients have been aware enough to push caregivers away or tell them to stop CPR. I think my mum did that. I had to keep going while yelling sorry and the operator was telling me to carry on. Thankfully, she survived but that was the longest 15 minutes of my life. There is a waterborne, microscopic, brain-eating amoeba that can enter your body through your nose. It is found in fresh water and can be present at water parks and pools. It is fatal within about 5 days and there's no way to really test for it before it's typically too late. Survival is very unlikely. HTTPS colon slash slash www.cdc.gov slash parasites slash neglirea slash general dot html HTTPS colon slash slash www.webmd.com slash brain Slash brain dash eating dash amoeba. Boil your water before using it for a sinus rinse. Humans invented surgery long before they invented anesthesia. Yep. I think I saw something about having extra doctors on board to restrain and gag soldiers during amputations. For example, getting shot in the leg. Your body is constantly correcting DNA errors that have a potential to become cancer, and that potential greatly increases depending on our body's comma so much so that, one half, https colon slash slash, www.nhs.uk, slash conditions, slash cancer, slash closed bracket of all people will go on to develop some sort of cancer. We are all getting cancer all the time. It's just that our immune systems keep curing it until they don't. How often are parents involved in cases of child pornography? Most sex trafficking victims, especially children are sold by family members. If a bear attacks it won't kill you immediately, it'll just start eating. Now I'm thinking of the scene in the Grizzly Man documentary where the filmer listens to the recording of the main character being eaten but refuses to play it for the audience. Brain aneurysms can happen to anyone, at any age and most are fatal. Yet knew a girl who was early teens who died of one. Went to bed with a headache, woke up and started getting ready for school and collapsed. She was airflown to a world-renowned hospital, we live in the city that it's in, but no amount of medical treatment could save her. I spent many years caring for survivors of sexual abuse and assault, usually in childhood. I'm talking at least a hundred, if not hundreds of people. I can count on one hand the amount of their abusers who ever got any charges. There are millions of child predators fucking everywhere, walking around living happy normal lives. Men and women, rich and poor, every ethnicity. Teachers, doctors, nurses, lawyers, police, clergy, kindly old neighbors, PTA parents, etc. There are so many all the fuck over the place, 
and I hate that I know all these people are up and about, probably even actively abusing more kids, and I can't do anything about it. For the record, in most cases this was anonymous situations like think a hotline, message board, or else I just wouldn't be given information where I could report anything. If I ever could, I generally did. People don't realize how hard it is to successfully prosecute rape and molestation. In Philippines there's a dish called Pag Pag, which is anything edible that can be scavenged from the trash around the city, washed, recooked and sold in slums for prices people there can afford. This is 100% true. It's so gross. I've seen it done. I'm Filipino. When a hamster oocyte is fertilized with human sperm, a hamster, https colon slash slash en dot m dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash hamster closed bracket is created. I'm with my friend reading this and you have single handedly blown our minds while also completely ruining our nights. Thank you for this education. If you are 25 years old, approximately 1 stroke 3 of the world's population who were alive at the time of your birth, have since died. And what if you like, 47? In ancient Egypt when a woman died her family would sometimes wait a few days before having the body mummified because they wanted to wait for the body to decay enough to prevent necrophilia. Imagine doing all this only to have her dug up and made into tea in the Victorian times. The FBI estimates that there are 25-50 serial killers active in the US every day. Per capita, that is the 7th of May 15 serial killers for every 100 million people. The chances of you encountering a serial killer is nearly zero. Eater. I want to clarify that all my serial killer statistics are based on the assumption of the post above. It does not take into account spree killers, and there is no research that I found looking at the FBI crime statistics that confirm the original stated number is correct. I can't figure out how to sort the FBI crime stats website for just serial homicides, so if someone else can, I'd love to see it for my own curiosity. I'd also like to point out, that I did read the wrong info for the car crash statistic, you Christian Tom 16 gets credit for the actual stat, sorry about that. There's plastic in our blood. Now babies are born with plastic in their blood. And Teflon. Even if they've never eaten from it. The fact that I was born with congenital heart disease means that any time, at random, without warning. One of my valves or part of my heart muscles can suddenly collapse or disintegrate. I would be dead within a matter of days or weeks. Only annual checkups can help find the smallest of hints to prevent this. And even annual checkups and foolproof. My father-in-law had two heart transplants and saw his doctors all the time. The day he died he had a checkup with his transplant cardiologist. Everything looked okay, as okay as it could be for him. About 7 hours later, he had a massive heart attack and was dead before he could even call my mother-in-law. I stay on my husband's ass now to keep up on his appointments and testing. Even that doesn't give me peace of mind. There is something called R-on-T phenomenon. I won't get into EKGs or anything, but basically if your heart beats at the wrong time in your normal cycle, you can go into cardiac arrest. This was seen with that NFL football player who had a sudden collapse on the field a year or two back. That sudden beat that occurs can also result from a sudden hit to the chest such as a baseball hitting you square in the chest at the wrong time in your heart cycle. OMG this. When I was growing up, a kid the next town over was killed when playing baseball, hit in the chest by a line drive at the exact wrong time. My town is built around the calderas of two massive supervolcanoes, one of which has produced two of the most powerful eruptions ever and had the alert level raised for the first time just over 12 months ago due to increased activity. That makes me think of the Krakatoa eruption in 1883. It was confirmed the explosion was heard in Perth, Australia. Perth is almost 2000 miles from Krakatoa. It was also heard on an island near Mauritius 
which is off the coast of Africa and about 3,000 miles away. That was a hell of an explosion and Krakatoa isn't even a super volcano. Related, as it turns out, in 1883, it was super trendy in the US to own a barometer and tons of people did. Barometers measure atmospheric pressure. Thanks in part to thousands of barometers being owned in the US, they were able to figure out that a wave of air pressure from the eruption traveled around the earth for 7 times. Even if you're the safest, most skillful driver in the world, you still have no way to protect yourself from other bad drivers. This really fucked me up after my first, and hopefully, only, serious car accident. My car slid off the road and got stuck so I got in and started to call AAA but then a pickup truck hit the same patch of ice and ran into me. All I could do was brace for impact and I could see the panic in the driver's eyes once he realized he couldn't stop. Luckily, it was a windy road so he was already going pretty slow but my car was totaled. Tiny sedan was no match for an old F-150. We were both fine but the fact that we both were doing everything right and that still happened really got me. That prawns exist. The worst part is how difficult they are to kill. Normal sterilization techniques don't work. If someone with prawns was operated on, and the tools were sterilized by normal means, the next person who has surgery with those tools could get prawns from them. Everything about them is crazy. Two Scottish doctors originally invented the chainsaw for childbirth. This conjures up a vision of doctors taking a modern chainsaw to a pregnant woman. That's not what was happening. During obstructed childbirth, before the modern C-section was practical, doctors developed a process of cutting the woman's pelvic bone to allow for childbirth. Originally this was done with a knife, but that took a large amount of time and was imprecise. The chainsaw was an improvement on this technique. Most scientists who study cockroaches develop an allergy to cockroaches eventually. Simultaneously, they develop an allergy to ground coffee. Do the math. Cockroaches are made out of coffee. How capable all humans are of true evil. After a couple tours in Afghanistan I saw some of the nicest, funniest or sweetest people do absolutely terrible things in the name of war self-preservation. When put in the right situation. All humans are capable of truly despicable actions whether they want to admit it or not. Humans scare the shit out of me. One thing I've tried to get across to people about war is that for every opportunity to act like a hero, there are 99 opportunities to act like a real piece of shit, and that it doesn't play out that way is a testimony to somewhat decent upbringing and the self-concept of the average soldier. Or something. The US military was expecting such high casualties for the invasion of mainland Japan in WW2, that all of the Purple Hearts, medals awarded for injuries in combat, used since have been leftovers made in anticipation for the invasion. I don't think this is true. I got a Purple Heart in 2004 and it doesn't look like the one my grandfather had in WWII. I've heard this stat but I think it's a made up one. Pacemakers will still make noise in your chest long after you've died. Somewhat true. They can make noise, but doctors will deactivate them after officially declaring death by holding a strong magnet over the pacemaker. It's usually a magnet that is meant specifically for this purpose. Still crazy to think about though, that it can physically make a heartbeat but the person is technically dead. <laughs>